good morning dear students so in science we shall study chapter 13 changes physical and chemical students now you can see lots of changes around us physically and chemically physically means you can see the outside appearance whether it is a tree a human being an animal for example a small baby grows into a human being and a small sapling becomes a big tree similarly chemical changes means the contents of the chemicals some reactions occur and changes occur in them okay so now let us recall what are the causes of the changes occurring in our surroundings so you know that the elements of nature such as temperature pressure winds and various natural causes cause changes in our surroundings you can add more to that okay so now the second question is what is meant by man made changes and which are these changes so what are man made changes then man made changes are occurring due to human activity we are making some changes so they are called as man made changes for example which are these let's say burning of fossil fuel cutting down of trees you can add more to that okay now let's observe and discuss so look at this pictures given below here what changes have taken place in the materials seen in the following pictures and what kind of changes are they so the first picture you can see milk over there so milk is turned into curds so there you can take your pencil and write there natural change or chemical so milk turning into curds is a natural and a chemical change second ice is taken on the hand so ice melts and becomes water so it's a physical change third you can see a seed which is sprouting so it's a natural change next on the gas stove something is kept for boiling so it's evaporating so we can call it physical change next some cracker is there over there okay so chemical change due to some chemical reaction it bursts next fire is lit the wood is burnt there so it's a chemical change in the last picture you can see the crackers burning there so it's a chemical change so here you have followed the various changes here now which points will you consider while classifying the following changes into two groups a fruit falling from a tree it is a natural change isn't it then rusting of iron again it is a natural and a chemical change raining natural change lighting an electric bulb it's a man made change and also physical change cutting of vegetables man made and physical change so i hope you have followed this introduction of physical and chemical changes now can you tell which of the above changes have occurred of their own accord or naturally so you know which they are you can guess okay now we have previously studied some examples of changes changes like the ripening of a fruit spoiling of milk occur naturally so these are called natural changes can you think of other examples of such natural change so you can add more changes there for example even earthquake and storm are also natural changes okay so what changes have you seen taking place in the materials in your surroundings so you can observe and write down now let us learn more about the changes in greater detail in this lesson now can you tell we see many man made changes in our day to day life for what purpose are they produced so you know that man is the most intelligent creature in the world 
so for his benefit he is doing all these changes so your benefit of mankind is the answer you can say so many changes such as sharpening of a pencil baking bread cooking food are useful to us and these are called useful changes right next the changes that are not useful or changes that do not harm us are called as harmful changes okay now use your brain power what kind of change is the following of a tree in a storm so it's a natural change so you can write natural change what kind of change is the conversion of milk into yogurt it's a chemical and also natural change so you can write both there now let us go to the next page think about it can you now classify the natural and the man made changes you have listed as useful and harmful changes so far we have studied certain type of changes what can you tell about two of these namely bursting of a balloon and ripening of a fruit from the point of view of their duration that is the time they take to happen the duration of bursting of a balloon is far shorter than the ripening of a fruit changes that take place in a short period of time are called as fast or quick changes while changes that take place over long period of time are called as slow changes okay so i hope you have followed fast and slow changes now use your brain power it is deleted okay so it is deleted before that give some examples of fast and slow changes that occur in your surroundings so you can write on your own over there now can you tell first one you made a link of glass piece how will you change the shape of the link to give its original shape you did you follow what do you mean by link means the broken uh, bangles are there those bangles when you heat those pieces and you stick them you get a chain a link okay so this link you have made you have done that for craft work sometimes or you must have played at home so how will you change the shape of the link to give its original shape so we'll be using heat there okay heat is used now next second question how will you restore the original candle after melting one so what will you do again heat it yes and put it in the dye or whatever shape you wanted okay yeah now so melting some wax and obtaining the original solid wax is something that we do repeatedly the changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction are called as reversible changes okay again i'll read the uh, definition the changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called as reversible changes a ripe mango however cannot be transformed back into a raw mango wood cannot be obtained from the ash formed on burning the wood so use your brain power what is meant by irreversible change and give some example so the things which we cannot be- get back into original shape and size and the contents are called as irreversible changes for example a spoiled fruit a torn cloth burning of wood okay you can add more examples now can you tell what comes after daytime what is the next stage after sunrise what comes after a high tide in the sea a bird sitting on a tree flies away flooding a meteor striking streaking across the sky so you know all this answers so now let us see further the explanation on considering the above examples we find that some changes occur again and again after a definite interval of time such changes are called as periodic changes on the other hand it cannot be said 
for sure when certain changes will occur after one occurrence even if they reoccur the time interval is not fixed such changes are called as non periodic changes for example in periodic changes in your time table every day from monday to friday every day first period you have your class teachers period at the definite time so it's called as a periodic change <coughs> similarly pt period you are having sometimes the first period sometimes the last period in between so it's a non periodic change rainfall it occurs any time during the day so it's a non periodic change you can add more changes there now let us go to the next page now use your brain power which type of change is the change of the seasons from the summer to rains to winter so we can call it as periodic change right periodic which hands of the clock show periodic change from 6 am to 6 pm so all hands show and how many times you calculate and write it there yeah now observe which of the changes shown in the picture alongside a temporary which of the changes are permanent in which of the changes did original matter undergo a change in which did the original matter remain unchanged in which of the changes was a new substance formed with a new property so in above, in some of the above examples of changes the properties of the original substance remains the same that is their composition remains unchanged no new substance is formed such a substance a sub, such a change is called as a physical change so this last line is the definition of physical change the change due to which one substance is transformed into another substance having a new and different properties is called a chemical change so this is the definition of the chemical change now in this picture you can see the last one ice is being transformed into a uh, water then a bud is being transformed into a flower and some magnets um is uh, moved around iron particles so it's a temporary change okay so the iron retains its original property then the raw mango is turned into ripe so it's a chemical uh, change here the last one is also a physical change only the water ice turns into water okay so i hope you have followed this and let us watch a video on this topic physical and chemical changes look at these leaves the first leaf is fresh and green while the other is dry and brown can we make the dry leaf fresh again well we cannot do so and that is because the leaves have undergone a chemical change that cannot be reversed all the changes that take place in our surroundings are either physical or chemical changes let us learn more about these changes when water is frozen it forms ice However, ice and water are made up of the same type of substance, that is, water molecules. This means that freezing just changed the physical form of water from liquid to solid, but the molecules inside remain the same. Such a change, where only the physical properties of the substance change and no new substance is formed, is called a physical change. The formation of ice can be easily reversed by heating the ice to form water. Most physical changes can be reversed. Melting of an ice cream, chopping off wood, bending of a wire, breaking of a glass and breaking of a pencil are physical changes. 
Now look at this log of wood. Even after being cut from the tree, the wood remained same. But what happens when this log of wood is set to fire? Upon burning, the wood changes into ash. Ash is a new substance which has different chemical properties than wood and it cannot be changed back into wood again. Such a change where the chemical properties of the substance change and a new substance is formed is called a chemical change. Chemical changes are mostly irreversible. Burning of paper, rusting of iron, cooking of rice, curdling of milk and ripening of fruits are chemical changes. So now you know all about physical and chemical changes.